What is going on everybody? It is your boy Sunny here back at it again with another Neverwinter video by the title and thumbnail. You know why you clicked on, but just to um, reiterate, we're going to be talking about items to buy with Zen here within the game of Neverwinter. Now, without any particular order, are these in any order? But just kind of my overall thoughts and opinions on what you should be buying with the game um, in-game currency, especially Zen. It is one of the more sought-after currencies. You can either only buy it or exchange it. I have multiple. I have a video showing you how to exchange it if you don't know how. So if you want, you can go ahead and check that out. But let's just talk about what you guys all clicked on for. Some of the items you should be buying your Zen on. So without further ado, let's just make our way over to services. Real quick, bank space, right? Bank space, in my opinion, is very vital regardless if you are a single player or a, you know, multi tune player. You're going to need more space and bank space is actually pretty clutch, um, especially for those items that you just want to save and maybe down the road accumulate um, prices, especially with, you know, events and everything like that. So having bank space. Now, if you do only have one tune, just having the personal bank space is going to be better because you do get 16. So better value for your bang. But not to say that having more shared bank space is not bad in itself. So there you go. Number one, bank space. Number two, or not even number two, but just on the list is the race reroll token. Unless you perfectly got your guy spot on with the attributes and picking the right race, um, you're definitely going to need to do these. Um, or at least just one or you know some people do it multiple times but um, having the right race for your said class and having the right ability scores can make a difference in your performance at um, you know the end game level so having making sure you at least buy one of these I honestly if you don't get it right off the rip just wait until you get all the way to 80 before buying these I, I would never suggest buying one of these on your way up to 80 um, if you're not at 80 yet and you didn't make too much, obviously, honestly, I would just restart. Honestly, I would just restart unless you made some kind of crazy progress. Um, save yourself 750 Zen, but if you're at 80 and you already made enough progress, you're going to need this. Um, believe me, changing your ability scores and having the right race is definitely a massive DPS increase. Moving on though, we have the press wards and the coalescent wards. Obviously, these are two things within Neverwinter that you are guaranteed to need, um, especially when you are upgrading. It doesn't matter what you're upgrading, whether it be artifacts, enchantment, you know, your equipment, weapon, armor, companions. It um, it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter. I think even with the insignias, unless it's a maybe even with the insignias, you need preservation wards. Now, you can turn off preservation wards. In the settings i don't know if you guys knew that but i will just show you really quick say you don't um have preservation wards but you still want to upgrade all you have to do is just go ahead and turn it off and hit apply but just make sure that down the road when you have a slimmer chance of upgrading that you turn that back on so you don't go wasting your materials because that is definitely going to be a big whoops um now with the new introduction to the way Neverwinter works, coalescent wards I feel have a less value because after a while your your no, your item is guaranteed to upgrade. So there is a chance that you could have wasted that co ward and got it before then, or there's that chance that you could have saved it. But in my opinion, down the road, if you are honestly probably better off just buying a hundred prez wards than rather one coalescent ward, you know, especially. The way things are now where it's guaranteed after 150 so even if you got to spend 50 more you know that is the chance you took but at the same time you're definitely going to get it back on another enchantment you know very rarely do you always have to max out and um you know you're going to need the full amount of preservation wards you might get lucky and get it on the first one you never know okay guys though but moving on and we are just about almost done, so I don't want to take up too much more time on your hands. Let's just talk about Legendary Dragon Keys. These are ones that, you know, in my opinion, are still worth it just because you want to be able to open up both chests in dungeons, especially in the ones of the higher end volume, especially IC, Tom, Lom. You know, I wouldn't go wasted in Lost Mouth and Malabogs. You know, just make the keys in the campaigns for those ones. But for those end game dungeons, you definitely want to make sure that you have some legendary keys. So at least you're getting both chests at the end of the dungeon. It is 250 Zen. Um, sometimes you will get shafted and not make your money back. But, you know, I want to say majority of the time you will in the long run make 
at least break even. Uh, maybe you may might not might not make your money back right away but you'll definitely start to accumulate and it's nice just being able to open up both chests at the end of a dungeon after all that hard work moving on to the last thing on the list is companion upgrade tokens okay these ones are definitely a must now there is two different packs there is this pack right here that gives you 75 for 500 zen but if you also come over here to the campaigns um, campaigns companion tabs itself it actually should still have the bundle i just have to find it no they don't have the bundle no more that's interesting they actually got rid of the bundle to my surprise they got rid of the companion bundle wow okay well i mean i don't know when they did it but there used to be a bundle in here for more um you know it was a little bit of a mix there's a little bit of a mix. It gave you bondings. Man, I'm out of whack then. It's been a while since I've looked for it, but it's okay, guys. Still, you're definitely going to need these companion upgrade tokens to, of course, upgrade your companions. Getting all your companions to legendary, especially your summon one, is an important task in Neverwinter. I can't stress that enough. And, um, yeah, usually buying them off the Zen Marker will be cheaper than buying them off the Auction House because sometimes you can actually pull upgrade companion tokens from lock boxes but they're not necessarily 75 pack so you just got to be careful when you are shopping around um for you know whatever you're shopping for always check right always just double check to make sure that you're getting the best value for yourself just do yourself the extra step believe me it's going to save you in the long run i was going to go ahead and wrap this up but i'm going to go ahead and name off one more thing in the zen market that i would suggest buying um depending on if you have uh single tune or if you're a multi-tune player is the dragon race reroll bundle if you are just a single literally all you do is just play one tune that's all you're going to see yourself playing in the foreseeable future i would honestly still buy the dragonborn race reroll bundle in my opinion dragonborn is still the best race in neverwinter especially the metallic um until they go ahead and change it it's probably going to be a while before they do get rid of the best in slot classes but not best in slot classes, but best in slot race, in my opinion. But um, yeah, if you don't have multiple tunes, just buy this one for fifteen hundred. But if you make your way over to the pack section in the Zen Market, there is the Dragonborn Race Pack that is valued at six thousand. Now it is expensive, but if you are a multi-tune player, every person you get or every person you make will be able to claim this pack, no exceptions. Okay, so right off the rip, you get the epic mount you get an epic companion an ion stone which is perfect um the heart of the red dragon so a free artifact there and of course you know just the hazards and the you know the fashion the dragon horde just the ends odds and ends shit but the big thing is is you always are guaranteed these three novelty items every time you create another class which is pretty clutch always having an epic companion ready always having an epic mount and an epic artifact is always nice to have so yeah if you're a multi-tune i would pick up or even maybe maybe see if it's an investment maybe see if it's an investment worth your time um i think with this one it's going to be more situational but definitely get the dragonborn race and it incorporates with the race reach world token so you're going to need both of them together to swap yourself over to dragonborn guys but Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully I broke it down well enough for you guys. Zen is one of those items in Neverwinter that can go by pretty quick. It can go by pretty quick. Now there's a couple things that um, obviously I would, in my personal opinion, stay away from. Especially as you're leveling up and buying Zen. Keys. Keys are one of those things to each their own. I could buy one and if I pull Legendary I made a profit. The problem is when you open hundreds and you're not getting nothing. So keys is a rabbit hole that I would not just going down. Um, mounts in itself, in my opinion, they're a bit overpriced at the moment to make it worth the value. I think you can buy like 12 epic mounts or 13 epic mounts for the price of just one. And that's even if you're a multi-tune person it's still better value just buying the mounts off the auction house another thing that i would avoid buying is any companions off the zen market i don't feel they're worth it if anything they're probably way cheaper on the auction house and then themselves 
So just check that out first. Last but not least is professions. I'm not a profession guy myself, but I wouldn't suggest buying anything off of here for profession related. I feel professions is one of those things where you can just kind of rank up yourself and be good that you don't need no boosters. But by all means, if you feel you need that boost, go right ahead. But other than that, guys, you know, there's a couple things. Um, don't buy any scrolls of mass life. Don't buy the stones of health, in my opinion. But um, yeah. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of the video. And if you made it this far, I appreciate it. As always, it has been your boy Sunny. I'll check y'all on the next adventure. Peace out.